done it for you. But you know, every day, God has done something else for me. And it's overwhelming that the things that God has really done for me. Every time I think, you know, Lord, I, where are you at? He turns around and He answers my prayers. And even when I don't deserve it. And I know I say it a thousand times and over repeat it and everything, but God has done miracles for me. And it was, you know, Brother Jack, he's got his testimony, and Brother Adam was telling me a little more about it, but I've got my own testimony too. You know what I mean? We've all got our own testimony. And we wonder where God's at and what God's done. And you know what? I was sitting there and I was praying. I was like, Lord, I told Brother Adam, I was like, I don't know if I even got it today. I just, I, I kept feeling like, I don't know what I've got to preach on. What I had to preach on, it just, it just kept going over. And I'm thinking, Lord, what is it? And I kept praying, Lord, what is, why am I going through this stuff? Is, is it every time we get blessed, the devil's going to jump us? Is, is that the way it's going to be? You know, and I get kind of concerned because I'm thinking, Lord, every time I get blessed, something else happens. And I don't want that. I'm thinking, Lord, I, I get tired of being jumped on. But you know what? Through the fire. Is what we made strong. You know, and I was talking, thinking about all the people that has preached and has went down through here and preached. And the brother uh, um, uh, Adam was talking about being out of reach. You know, if you give it to God. You know, brother Shannon was preaching about the the, the pillars. The, the pillars that we go through makes a pillar where we can stand. Right. And then when we finally make them pillars where we can stand, we can stand on them. Amen. Right. Right. We can stand on them and say, hey, I'm up here. Right. I don't have to be down there. Right. But you still got to stay away from the stuff. Right. Right. Just because you built something don't mean that it's ready to be stood on. That's good. That's right. And the problem with us is we're ready to stand on something that ain't even built yet. Right. And then we wonder why we fall back down. Right. If you build a, a stool and you only got three legs and you get up there and stand, you're going to fall. Right. So you got to stay away from some of the stuff. You may have to stay away from a friend. Right. That's right. That's right. You may have to stay away from somebody you care about. That's right. That's right. Because they're, they're not, you're not ready to stand where you're supposed to be. You're not ready to be up there. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I was reading in the Bible in Deuteronomy 28. And it, was, it talks about, you know, how God will give us the desires of our hearts. God will give us the desires of our hearts. And when you read it, you know, it, God said he'll do it. But we also got to do what his commandments are. Okay. And everybody's like, well, I'm doing commandments. God's going to bless me. God's going to do this. But if you read a little bit further, there's a price to be paid if you don't do it. There's a price to be paid when you don't follow God. And not just not just because if you fall or something bad happens to me, don't mean I'm sinning. Sometimes it was like the, the man talked about the, the the dome that they made. And they put everything in there. And everything was growing fine. But the tree, no matter what they did with that tree, the tree kept bending over. And they couldn't figure out why that tree kept bending over. And no matter what, they would put anchors up there to hold that tree. And the tree would just, they let it go and the tree would fall back over. I don't know if you remember him preaching that. Yeah. And what did he say? He said it took the wind. Right. Just old farm man come back there and says there's no wind. Yeah. And that's the way it is with us. Right. Come on. We can grow, right. but we've got to have the wind. Uh -huh. We've got to have some resistance in our life yeah. to make us strong. Yeah. And without the wind, we're not going to be strong. Yeah. And we, we all want to prosper. Yeah. And we all want to have good things and nice things yeah. and a, a good marriage and a, a good, great kids. We all want that. Yeah. But we all got to go through something. That's right. Until we grow and do something, we can't grow strong. And I want to grow strong. And you know, I'm like the rest of you. I don't want to go through the trials. I don't want to go through the trials. But you know what? In the Bible, you don't have to go through trials all the time. That's where people get messed up. You know, consider my servant Job. Everybody talks about how Job went through this. But Job only went through it for a season. 
He didn't go through it his whole life. He wasn't struggling his whole life. And when people think that we have to struggle because we got God, if they're wrong, there is a season you're going to have to struggle. But there's a time that you can rejoice. There's a time that you can praise God. There's a time to grow. And until you realize, you know, I, I may be in this season right now, but I'm coming out of that season. And just because I come out of that season don't mean I'm going to step right back down in there. You know, the devil may fight you, but you know what? He don't have to even come close to bothering you. You know, he, was, he preached all over my message at, at 2 o'clock. <laughs> he preached all over because I was thinking, you just got to stand still. You just got to stand still. You know, no, no matter what we do in the Bible, we just read it. And God will give you every answer you ever need. It's all there. I, 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 you know, I'm just amazed to hear people preach. And Brother Adam was talking. I love to hear the Word of God. And that's why I wanted, I wanted Brother Adam to preach today. I really did. I wanted Brother Adam to preach because I felt like I needed something. I felt like I needed something. You know, so I thought, man, if he preaches, maybe I'll get something. Because I was feeling a lack. I was feeling like, man, I'm just... Because I love to shout like the rest of you. I love to feel God. You know, but there's a time you're going to have to weep. There's a time when he was sitting there, I was just on the, uh, the drums, and I just started crying and speaking in tongues. Because I felt God. And he wasn't up here doing cartwheels. But you know what? The other day when it, when it come through here and everybody, yes. I mean, that was, that was awesome. Yes. That was awesome what God had done. Yes. But it don't happen every week. Yes. Right. Right. And like Brother Adam was just, I mean, he was sitting there and I was, just, I was just amazed because everything he was saying, I had read and I was going to tell everybody about. And I was thinking, man, he done, he done, and I was like, I knew he should have preached. I knew he should have preached. Because I feel like he does a better job. I, I, I can't find a better preacher than Brother Adam. To me. Amen. He's my great preacher. I love him. But you know, I'm thinking, well, God has put me here. God ain't put me here to, to preach like Brother Adam. That's right. God has put me here for Kevin. That's right. God has put me here for Kevin. Yes, he has. And you know, I get on my knees and I start crying and I'm praying. I was like, Lord. I have been through so much. Why am I going through it again? And I started crying and I'm praying, you know. Worship, yeah. Everybody knows my story. Everybody knows where I've been. Thank you, Lord. Worship, So I, I shouldn't have to come back here and say, you know, Brother Adam, I'm down again. But sometimes I do have to say, hey, I need a hand. Right. That's right. Brother Don, we all need a hand. That's right. No matter where we're at, we all need a hand. We're not perfect. No. We all need somebody to say, hey, come on. Right. You may have fallen, but come on. Right. Yeah. That's right. And when I turn around and look at my son, Amen. it just makes me want to weep. Worship. Because I know what I went through. Uh -huh. He knows where he's been. Right. You. you know, and to see him back here in church with me is just, yeah. it's just awesome. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't think it's going to happen. Sometimes you don't think it's going to happen. And, and, you know, the Bible says he will do this. Yes. He will do this. And when you read Deuteronomy 28, the Bible, oh man, he tells you about blessing your family, yes. blessing your, your farm, your, your sheep, your cattle, just whatever you want. God will bless you. Yes. Just do his commandments. Yes. And believe. Yes. And it may not happen just like this. It may not happen just like you may have to stand still, like he said, and, and say, Lord, man, you mean i got to wait for that baby to grow up? To be delivered? Worship you. Where are you at when I need you, Lord? But when he turns around and he's right there and he picks you up. And when you look at somebody and be like, man, they ain't going to get saved. I know they're not going to get saved. I see where they're at. I see what they're doing, Lord. And I can't do anything about it. No matter how I yell. No matter how I yank and I beg and plead. I can't do nothing about it, Lord. And you turn around and there they are. Thank you. Worship you. What do you do? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Oh, you don't even know how much I got to thank God for. You don't know how much I got to thank God for. He just blessed me in all the 
situation they were put in, adapt to the climate. Yes. They, they had to grow thicker fur sometime. Yes. Amen. They had to eat things that they weren't normally in their diet to be able to survive, uh, but they adapted to it. And God created us to be a, a, a people that can evolve, a people that can change. Amen. And sometimes we have to change and we have to adapt. Sometimes we have to, we have to think about how that we can just make ourselves survive. And the best way to explain that is, is that sometimes life is just life. Not everything comes from the devil, which we blame him for a lot of things, and he deserves most of it. And, uh, and I don't care to stomp on the devil any time. Sometimes just, just to stomp on him, I just stomp on him. But there are some things that just happen in life, and God intends on you learning how to adapt and just getting tough. If you don't, so I'm, I'm not talking about getting hard-hearted. I'm, I'm talking about turning to God but saying, God, I'm not going to move. Though they like Job, amen. Though, though he slay me. Though he come to hurt me. Amen. Though he come to afflict me, I'm going to stand. Amen. And those are the kind of people that go on and do great and mighty things. Uh, with with McKenna, that's something that I I had started since she uh, was, was old enough to start walking and falling and hurting herself all the time. I find bruises on her sometimes. I think, boy, they're gonna wonder about us when we take her to the doctor because she gets bruises like crazy. And um, and something that I started doing since she started falling and getting hurt was was instead of reacting with a shock and scared and going after and picking her up and saying, "Oh, my baby," it, as I'll just kind of laugh and just go, "Ha." Oh. I'm kidding her and, uh, and react differently. And now when she falls, she'll look. The first thing she says now is, I okay, I okay. And so I know as soon as I hear those words, everything's going to be all right. And she's taking some pretty big spills. But rather than reacting by crying and falling apart, it's, I okay, I okay. And sometimes we got to be just like that. And though we go through the fire, we just need to look to somebody and say, I'm okay. 
I'm okay. I'm going to make it. I, I know I can get through this. It's just a fall. It's just a bump along the road. But I'm going to make it. Don't fall. What I'm trying to tell you is don't fall apart of every bump and everything that comes in life because some things are just going to happen and you're not always going to get your way. But learn how to stand up and say, I'm okay. Amen. Because through him, I might not win every single battle, but I will win the war. I will win it in the end. I'm going to make it this whole life. But it's not about just getting trophies here. It's not about getting glory here. It's about making it over there where I can give God glory forever and ever and ever. This is just a means to an end. This is not really even an end. This is a means to a beginning. Amen. There are some things that end in life, but this is a means to a new beginning that lasts forever and ever and ever. Aren't you so glad that you made it through the fire? Get out from where we are, gather around the 